Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. All right, so my laser, laser, my laser, yeah. My laser machine is here, set up. My parents came up over the weekend. Um, my dad put my table together, put up a nice shelf. If you're on Instagram or Facebook, you would have seen a sped up version of that. I'll try and put that at the end of this video for you guys to see. My dad is the best. Um, he like took a bunch of stuff out of my garage to make room for me and all my new product and material and wood that I'm going to be getting and stuff like that. Like I have an elliptical in there and I'm like, hey dad, could you throw it in the back of your minivan and take it home and just store it for me at your place? And he's like, sure. So now my mom's using it. It's funny, but yeah, like, I mean, I am fully set up in the garage. I have one more piece of equipment that I'm waiting to arrive. It could take a couple of weeks, but in the meantime, I can still do what I want to do. And I am planning on doing some future videos and uh, show you guys all the fun and cool things that I'm going to be doing with this new laser machine. Um, wood rounds, I will start taking orders, not just yet. Um, it's a lot of work. I sat down and I thought, thought about it and I'm like, man, I, you know, before I used to just place the order with my, um, friend who did the, cut the rounds for me and I would just, she would do all the labor. She would go to Home Depot and buy all the wood and get it cut and then bring it home and cut it on her machine. And I would just literally drive and go and pick it up. So now I'm the one who has to go to Home Depot, get the wood, get them to cut it so that it fits into my car bring it home, cut all the wood rounds, you know, one by one and this and that. So yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm not going to get that started just yet. So we'll see how that pans out. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to get started with the laser, but there's a lot I need to learn still. So be patient with me. All right. Classes. If you are on my mailing list, you would have received an email from me about classes here in London, Ontario. Uh, classes are, I've got two classes on Saturday, April 27th and two classes on the 28th. I'm teaching the bloom. I'm teaching a resin top coating class. I'm teaching a blowout on a large canvas and I'm teaching a regular blowout. So if you want to come to London, Ontario and learn with me and you haven't gotten an email, you can email me at canelaseraco at gmail.com and I will send you information for those classes. I already have a few spots that have filled up. There are five spots per class available. That's it, I can only fit five people in this studio here. So it is first come, first serve. So if you want to come and learn in person with me, email me. Uh, in about, I don't know, a month and a half or so, I'm going to be heading off to Asheville, North Carolina. I'm going to be teaching three days there at the Fluid Art Experience. If you want to come and see me in Asheville, North Carolina, you can go to www.fluidartexperience.com and you can register, sign up, and all the information you need is on the website there. Or come and see me in Fort Myers, Florida. I will be in Fort Myers July 13th and 14th. And I will be teaching classes with Kathleen from Cause Creations. So if you want to come see Kathleen and I in Florida, July 13th and 14th, you can email us at fluidartwithfriendsflorida at gmail.com. All that information that I just gave you is listed in the description below with links and emails in case you just, you know, couldn't write it down as I'm talking about it now. Go to the, descri the description below the video and all the information is there, all right? Okay, uh, dried results of the blue piece. Um, I love blues, so look at that. It dried perfectly. Um, today, in today's video, I'm only gonna spin one way. I want to see, I feel like some of the cells got a little wonky on this um, because I was spinning it A so much and B um, in different directions. So I wanna kinda try and spin it just one way, um, but this still needs a top coat of crystal resin. So once it gets that, it's definitely going to pop and the shimmer is going to be pretty darn cool. Um, eight by 24 inch canvas. If you are interested in this, you can email me if you'd like to purchase it. Um, so yeah, that is it. So 
laser fun coming three classes that i'm going to be teaching and uh yeah that is it so i'm gonna be blooming again today because i'm having a lot of fun doing it so i'm gonna get myself set up and let's get started all right everybody let's get started so back to working on a 14 by 14 inch canvas i am using my spinner from jessica winterstrom again I use two different kinds of spinners. Sometimes I use Jessica's, sometimes I use Erica's. Um, I've put, uh, you know, in pre uh, the last, I don't know, maybe two or three videos, I have links to their spinner. So check out my previous videos if you want to know where I get my spinners. All right, so the base color today, I'm going dark. So this is called Dynamo. All right, so it is like a, I don't know, magenta kind of color. It is from Sherwin-Williams and it's color to go, okay? I did thin it down with some American Floetrol. Um, what I did is I put 10 ounces, 10 ounces of the Dynamo and then five ounces of Floetrol. That seems to work good for me for this size of canvas. 14 by 14 or the 8 by 24 inch I was doing 15 ounces of paint seems to work well that is my base paint if you want to know how I mix my TLP piggies and my pigments and all of that for the bloom recipe you can check out video number 504 I will link it up at the top that is a full tutorial on my bloom recipe all right I'm going a little crazy today. I've got a lot of colors. I just couldn't decide. I'm like, oh, I like this one. I, I want to keep it in. And so I've got a lot going on. So um, I've got Fairy Floss. Here we go. Fairy Floss by TLP. Um, gosh, maybe I should just kind of move these over here. Let's do that. Here we go. That's better. Okay, so Fairy Floss. Then I have Persephone, Persephone, that's actually a Greek word, um, again by TLP. Then I have Light Rose by Amsterdam, okay. Then I have Violet Rain, TLP. Uh, sequins, which looks white or creamy, but has a pink hue to it. So sequins by TLP. Then I have Sangria, got to give these guys a good mix again, Sangria by TLP, and then topping it off, I've got Afterglow, yes, Afterglow, which is a bright pink, again, Afterglow by TLP. Now, I also have this gold, which is ore, and somewhere, maybe, we'll see, I might put a smidgen of it in my colors here. We'll see. But I've got a lot. I usually, I've actually, I've never put this many colors. That's two, four, six, seven, and the gold makes eight. So yeah, we'll see what happens. And then of course my cell activator is going to be Payne's Gray um, by Amsterdam. So that is my cell activator. So I'm gonna put on my gloves here always wear gloves when I'm doing a bloom because it is a messy technique. I was out and about running errands today and I was too lazy to go upstairs and change. So I'm wearing jeans right now and we all know what happened in my last video. So I'm hoping that I don't splatter any paint below my apron onto my jeans because that would be sad. All right, let me flood this and I will be right back. Okay, so the canvas is flooded. I got my edges kind of pretty covered pretty well. I did leave some extra in my container 
because I'm going to need it after. See, this is what I love about Jessica's spinner is when you get paint on the legs, they wipe right off. I do love that about her spinner. Okay, so, uh, oh, pop the bubbles. Let me pop the bubbles. Okay, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's see how this goes with all of these colors. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I should like really go at it with like, a, like, I mean, by the time I get to the seventh color and then some gold in there somewhere, not sure where I'm going to put the gold, but it's going to go in there somewhere, but I'm loving these colors. So the last, or not the last one, but the one before that, I did the light pink. The base was called champagne pink and it turned out super pretty. So we'll see how this dark base is going to look. All right, violet rain. Where should I put that gold? Maybe I'll put it here. Maybe I'll do it now. Let's do a little gold. Yeah, that's perfect, actually. Right below this beautiful violet rain. Speaking of rain, I cannot get over how cold and rainy it is. It's going to be miserable all week long here in London, like literally miserable. It is so cold and the rain, the wind is insane. I can't believe how windy it is. Um, you know, like I said, I was out running errands and like, I mean, I hate, 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 hate being outside when it is like rainy and cold and windy. I had to walk the dogs this morning, trying to hold an umbrella, trying to hold two dogs, you know, while the wind is blowing at me, I'm trying like to hold on to the umbrella for dear life. Like, I mean, I hate walking the dogs in weather like this. It is brutal, I hate it. I just want some really nice spring weather, you know? Oh my gosh, these colors, so many colors. I don't know how this is going to pan out. Um, this could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. Uh, we're gonna find out together in a second. All right, let me pop some bubbles. Okay, okay, boobles popped. My hair dryer is plugged in. Yep. Okay, cell activator. Let's do it. I managed to keep my puddles centered nicely. All right. Let's blow it out. super duper perfectly and while I was doing that Lee from Massey Art Studio was calling me uh I'm in the middle of recording a video be right back <laughs> just this is why I love Apple Watch he's like I got a question for you I'm like I'm in the middle of a video I'll call you back oh my gosh that is hilarious okay so 
Um, let's see. I'm going to take my skewer here. Oh, I'm loving this though. I love it. I blew that out so nicely. Very happy with that. And you know what? I don't think I want to do anything. Um, I don't need to blow anything in the center here. Um, I wonder, I'm going to, I'm going to skewer. I'm going to play with my skewer a little bit. Um, yep, that's Lee messaging me. He'll have to wait. Sorry, love. I'm busy. I am busy doing a blowout. Ooh, I like it. Okay, so, oh boy, I'm going to spin her. I feel like I need to maybe kind of bring this this way a little bit before I spin. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Oh yeah, that works. Okay, let's spin. Spin for the win. <laughs> And you know what? I I kind of I'm not gonna overspin this, and I'm kind of liking how this is smack in the middle. I've got negative space all the way around my petal, and none of it's going over the edge. And I'm actually really liking that. Although this is getting kind of close, pretty close. And I know if I spin it one more time it's gonna go over the edge. Um, so I'm not sure I wanna do that. I'm gonna kinda bring it this way a little bit, like that. I, I really think, oh my gosh, I think this is like the least amount of fidgeting I've done with a bloom. And I'm really loving my cells here and I think if I spin it, I might just make them really wonky and I, I kind of don't want to do that. So I think, I think I'm going to leave it. I think that's what I'm going to do. <gasps> it's so pretty. Okay, first off, I've got to unplug this. My leg keeps hitting the reset button. Oh my gosh. Okay, this needs popping because I see bubbles in here. All right, and then there's a big one here that just wouldn't pop with the torch. So don't overdo it because you will kind of burn your house paint. It is house paint. So be careful when using the torch. Don't overdo it because you will burn it and leave like a yucky film on it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it is kind of coming over the edge a little bit here. Oh, now I don't know if I should spin it again a little bit. Maybe just have a little bit go over the edges because these corners are definitely gonna have negative space. Oh gosh, I can't, I can never make up my mind, really. I'm not gonna spin it anymore, I'm not gonna spin it. And what do I do? I spun it, I know, I'm cuckoo luku. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I used to hate Cocoa Puffs. Anyone remember that cereal, Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Okay. Oh, I like the way that did that. Okay, I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, collect actually some of the paint, the pink paint, the dynamo paint that has, you know, come off the canvas onto the silicone mat. I'm gonna put it back in my cup here and I'm going to fix my edges. There's a lot on this side. Holy schmole. So much pink. See, you can reuse this stuff. Scoop her up. Don't waste. See, look at all this that I'm scooping back up into my cup. Because some of my edges need some fixing. Oh, this, this edge is perfect. Nothing needs fixing here. But yeah, you could totally just use a popsicle stick. 
wow, I saved a lot of paint there. And then whatever I don't use, I'm actually going to put back in my color to go container. Even though there's Floetrol in it, I'm going to put it back in there anyway, because this stuff ain't cheap, man. So I'm going to reuse it. Okay, I'm going to fix my edges and I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. Alrighty, so I didn't actually take it off the stand. I'll do that after. Um, but I just, I'm loving this. I'm so happy with this. I didn't overspin it, which means my cells are so intact. Look at that center. When I turn the flash on on this, this is going to be so pretty. I'm loving this. Now, this is obviously gonna dry darker because, you know, Paint always dries darker. That's just what happens. But I love that there is negative space in all four corners. And then like it kind of a little bit went over the edge here and then um, a little bit over here. But that's okay because I'm loving this overview look. And I actually think I like the composition this way. This is how I love it because it's wider down here and less up here so this is the way I would hang it my my preference at least um but okay so let's turn the lights off and see that shimmer okay let's check out the shimmer and I'm so glad I put that gold in there I'm like I mean I used a lot of colors I know but I think the gold really helps it's almost like how much I love 24k by deco art it just something about the gold that makes things pop let me let me spin this let me go there we go let's check out this side easier for me to spin it than to accidentally fall over or drop my phone into the painting see the closer i go my camera likes to kind of mess with the colors a little bit it auto focuses and does funny things. See what happens when I go further back. Ooh. But you get the idea. There's a lot of shimmer in this baby. I love it. Absolutely love it. So pretty. All right, let's turn the lights back on. And there you have it, everybody. Um, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, it is available for purchase. If you are interested in this painting, you can email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. And again, um, if you want to come see me in London, Ontario, Asheville, North Carolina, or Fort Myers, Florida, you can check out the information in the description below the video. All right. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or email me. But yeah, let me know what you think of this. Until next time. I think that's it. I'm going to go sit on the couch and watch some TV because it is a cold, gloomy, rainy, yucky day. So until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.